Lawrence King. And for those of you who aren't familiar, um, in California, a 12-year-old boy who occasionally dressed in women's clothing um, was shot twice in the head while working on a computer um, by a 14-year-old. So this is called in the smoke, like the smoking gun. Palm trees and terracotta roofs, sunlight smiles, sunlight's rays beam down on soccer practice. Days of double dutch and tetherball, Hannah Montana seeps from the radio. Sometimes choosing pink over blue or paying more attention to the Easy Bait oven instead of G.I. Joe. He was Lawrence King. I saw Lawrence the Queen. I suppose he deserved a take two in the head. The dragon of your reputation rages less if he's dead. A 12-year-old seated at a computer becomes victim to the 14-year-old assailant's prescription of appointed bullets. He must have figured the queen was down, that unlike Celia Cruz and Lupe, this was the end point. Lawrence King died true to himself. He left this world an unfettered being, an emancipated soul. The universe now carries the dust of his essence into our nostrils. regularly scheduled program to bring you an update. The Little Mermaid has every right to be included in the Pooh Pooh Platter. Okay, it's not funny. <laughs> the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster publicly endorses pasta machines and has stock in the Olive Garden. We have unconfirmed reports that the Kool-Aid Man is operating a brothel. <laughs> He is also involved in the drug trade with the Hawaiian Punch Man. <laughs> Drop the chalupa! The culinary fascist protested. Prime Minister of Ireland Ronald McDonald has vehemently opposed Parliament's decision to use chicken nuggets as currency. <laughs> Betty Crocker was found today having a lesbian affair with Little Debbie and Mrs. Coffee. Oh. Mr. Coffee was unavailable for comment. <laughs> Like people, I, for some reason, like you ever have people say shit to you and you feel like you have to defend yourself? And like you can't send anybody, you can't hire a lawyer, you gotta represent you. That's what this is. It's called testify. And no, we're not going there. I know you're thinking. <laughs> Legal counsel has advised me to stay silent, but at the risk of jail, there are a few things I'd like to say. In defense of myself, 100% of all human interactions involve two or more humans. In defense of myself, my spectrum will determine what is sexy. In defense of myself, education is the greatest mindfuck. In defense of myself, ABM will stand for accessible by maturity. In defense of myself, acts of laziness and apathy delay greatness. In defense of myself, those that change or challenge nothing lack the ability to dream. In defense of myself, to survive is an act, to thrive is an ambition. In defense of myself, labels of deviancy to illegitimize my status as a functioning member of society and have me institutionalized to support someone else who has erotic capitalist visions. In defense of myself, my boyfriend and I shall not be sequestered to appease your homophobia. In defense of myself, medics treat symptoms, doctors treat diseases. In defense of myself, the application of knowledge induces fear. In defense of myself, artistry is a weapon, tool, and catalyst for change. In defense of myself, inclusivity is a way of life, not a slogan. In defense of myself, Soldier Boy is a terrorist out to destroy women and decimate culture. Yeah! <laughs> In defense of myself, Jesus understood the concept and function of power and privilege. So should his followers. In defense of myself, tokenism while proclaiming diversity <coughs> is treason. In defense of myself, being an ally is helping to lead the fight, not just a cute fucking sticker for your door. In defense of myself, <laughs> consider all the denominations before you play with fractions. Mm -hmm.